Yeah. Madness is just around the corner, but Minneapolis is already gearing up for next year's Final Four, which will be at U.S. Bank Stadium. Between now and then, the stadium will need an expensive upgrade, blackout curtains to cover up all the natural light coming through the windows and roof. David McCoy tells us tonight why it's necessary, what it will cost, and who will pay for it. We would not be submitting this application if we didn't have this brand new, state-of-the-art, one-of-a-kind facility. Minneapolis won the bid to host the 2019 Final Four because of U.S. Bank Stadium, but before it can, it needs some bids of its own. Two days after the Super Bowl, the Minnesota Sports Facilities Authority put out a request for proposals from contractors to design, manufacture, and install massive blackout curtains to cover the stadium's expansive windows and roof. So why is this necessary? Well, the NCAA requires it, that the lighting be consistent for all four teams for practices and games, regardless of the time of day. Anytime that you can have this wonderful sun shining in and uh, here is something that you would want to have. But uh, as you understand, we're a facility that works with different requirements. Mike Vekic is the MSFA chairman. He calls the retractable curtains a capital investment, able to be used for other events like concerts. He wouldn't say how much they'll cost, beyond that it'll be expensive. We're right in the competitive bid process, and uh, for us to reveal what we might believe it's uh, going to cost based on our own investigation would be a, a business decision that uh, one would not want to make. But he did say the MSFA will be paying for it, out of money set aside for building improvements. There has been no discussion about approaching the legislature. Beckett said the MSFA was aware of the curtain requirement when it bid for the Final Four, that it would be caught part of the cost of hosting. It will choose a contractor by April 20th and anticipates it will be finished by the end of January. Seems like it's just always something, huh? More things, more, more stuff, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, David.